spring has come. Many people have started to experience allergy symptoms such as watery eyes, a runny nose, sneezing, hives, and itching. There are dozens of over-the-counter antihistamine medications for allergies, and some people are not sure which one to choose. In this video, I will discuss different over-the-counter antihistamine pills for adults. First, I will briefly explain how allergic reactions occur in humans and why antihistamines can alleviate allergic symptoms. Allergies occur when the human immune system overreacts to an exposed antigen or allergen. Here are the most common allergens that trigger allergic responses. Certain food, dust, pollens, animal waste, mold, insect bites or stings, latex, certain medications. This schematic diagram illustrates the mechanism of an allergic response to an antigen. When a person is exposed to an antigen for the first time, the antigen triggers B cells, a type of immune cell, to differentiate into plasma cells. The plasma cells produce specific IgE antibodies, which attach to the mast cells. When the person encounters the same antigen again, the antigen will bind to and cross-link the specific IgE antibodies on the surface of mast cells. The event triggers the mast cells to release histamines. The histamines then bind to the H1 histamine receptors on certain cell surface, leading to an allergic reaction. The H1 antihistamines can block the binding of the histamine to its receptor and significantly reduce the allergic symptoms. There are two generations of H1 antihistamines. First generation antihistamines are short acting and people may have to take the medication every four to six hours to alleviate allergic symptoms. These antihistamines can cross the blood-brain barrier and have anticholinergic activity. Therefore, they can cause significant side effects such as sedation, cognitive impairment, etc. Alcohol should be avoided when taking these medications because it can aggravate these side effects. Long-term use of first-generation antihistamines such as Benadryl has been linked to increased risk of dementia. This table lists two common first-generation antihistamines. Benadryl and Clotrimetin or Clortabs are the brand name medications. Dethenhydramine and Clofeniramine are the gen generic equivalents. For people who are not familiar to the difference between a brand name medicine and a generic one, I'd like to clarify with an FDA statement. According to the FDA, a generic medicine works in the same way and provides the same clinical benefit as its brand name version. A generic medication is the same as a brand name medication in dosage, safety, effectiveness, strength, stability, and quality, as well as in the way it is taken and should be used. There is a significant price difference between generic and brand name medications. As seen here, 100 tablets of brand name Benadryl cost $11.94, which is 12 cents a pill. 365 tablets of generic equivalent Dethenhydramine cost about $8, which is 2.4 cents a pill. Similarly, brand name Clortabs costs much more than the generic as compared to first-generation antihistamines, second-generation H1 antihistamines are long-acting. They cross the blood-brain barrier minimally, cause less sedation, and have less interaction with other medications. Here is a list of second-generation H1 antihistamines. The efficacy for allergy symptom relief is similar among different medications. The second generation H1 antihistamines can be taken once a day. People should avoid drinking alcohol when taking Zyrtec or Zyzel 
because alcohol can worsen the drowsiness caused by these two medications. Zizel is recommended to be taken at bedtime. People aged 65 and older should decrease the dose of Zizel and Zyrtec by half, and people who have kidney impairment should take lower doses of Zizel, Allegra, and Zyrtec. There is also a significant price difference between the generic and brand name second generation antihistamines. For example, 90 tablets of Zyrtec costs $39 at $0.43 a pill. 500 tablets of generic equivalent, Cetirizine, costs about $21, which is $0.4.2 a pill. The price difference between the brand name and the generic one is tenfold. Similarly, 90 tablets of Claritin costs $32 at $0.35 a pill. 400 tablets of generic Lerotidine cost about $13 at $0.3.2 a pill. The price of brand Allegra is much higher at $0.43.3 a pill than the generic Fexofenadine, which costs $0.19 a pill. The price difference between Zizel and generic Levocetirizine is less drastic. It is $0.30 a pill versus $0.18.5 a pill. In summary, there are many over-the-counter antihistamines for allergy relief. First-generation antihistamines, such as Benadryl and Clortabs, are short-acting and need to be taken every 4 to 6 hours. They cause significant side effects, such as drowsiness and cognitive impairment. In contrast, the second-generation antihistamines, such as Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, and Zizel are long-acting, and the effects of these medications last 24 hours. In addition, they have significant less side effects. Therefore, the second-generation antihistamines should be the first choice for allergy relief. It is worth to note that there is a significant price difference between brand name and generic antihistamines, so generic antihistamines should be chosen as long as they alleviate allergic symptoms effectively.